everyone. Today, I will show you the Bluetooth control video of the KGF series high precision battery column counter. This is the download address of the app QA code plus link. You can download the app installation package of KGF. After the installation is complete, we click search to select the corresponding Bluetooth number to connect. After a successful connection, the search in the upper right corner will change to disconnect and the corresponding parameters will appear. First, let's introduce the main interface of the KGF series app. Communication address P1 display the communication address P1 of the current measurement module. Bluetooth code BTG010 the Bluetooth code in the measurement module is BTG010. On is the output status and data logging control switch. Measured voltage value display the actual measured voltage value. Click voltage value to set the voltage calibration. Measured current value display the actual measured current value. Click current value to set the current calibration. Voltage range click voltage dial to set the voltage scale range. Maximum current click current dial to set the maximum current scale. Power measured current power value. Unit W. Electricity consumption represents the actual accumulated electric energy during the running time. The unit is KW. H. Current reset when the load is zero. Click clear current to memorize the current state of zero ampere hour. Data reset click clear data to reset working time. Power consumption and accumulated capacity. Preset battery capacity click setting to set the battery capacity. Percentage of remaining battery capacity click battery graphic to set the percentage of remaining battery capacity. Remaining battery capacity indicates the remaining capacity of the battery through charging and discharging. Remaining capacity equals preset battery capacity cumulative capacity. Ambient temperature displays the ambient temperature. The current display is 22 degrees Celsius. Which means that the temperature of the environment where the external sensor is located is 22 degrees Celsius. Working time represents the cumulative value of a single running time. Cumulative capacity it indicates the cumulative capacity of charging and discharging during this period of operation. Endurance time calculate the endurance time and charging time based on the charge and discharge current in capacity. Internal resistance of the battery preliminary calculation of the current internal resistance of the battery is a reference. Next, let's introduce the curve interface of app of KGF series products. The upper screen of the curve interface shows the real-time voltage and current curve, in which the yellow curve represents the measured voltage curve. The blue curve represents the discharge current curve, and the green curve represents the charge current curve. We click the history off control switch to turn on the history curve function. We can view the voltage and current history curve and click the export curve button to export the voltage and current history data during working hours. Let's look at the functions of the other two buttons. Click the Custom Export button. You can select the voltage and current historical data in a specific working time period. Click the Custom View button to view the historical voltage and current curves in a specific working time period. Then let's introduce the system setting interface of KGF Series Product app. The KGF Series products can be set up through the mobile phone app. Over Voltage Protection click the OVP Over Voltage Protection button to set the over voltage protection value to 29V. When the measured voltage value exceeds 29V, the meter will enter the over voltage protection state. And the output status displays OVP. Now the instrument will not automatically return to the normal state. We can set the protection recovery time.
Protection recovery time. Click the protection recovery time button to set the protection recovery time to 5 seconds. Let's take over voltage protection as an example. After the measured voltage is lower than 29V and lasts for 5 seconds, the meter automatically cancels the protection state. The circuit is closed and work begins. This protection recovery time can be 0 to 60 seconds. And there is a delay time. Delay time click the delay setting time button to set the delay time to 10 seconds. Let's take the over voltage protection as an example. After the measured voltage exceeds 29V and lasts for 10 seconds, the meter will immediately enter the protection state. Under voltage protection click the LVP button to set the under voltage protection value to 10.5V. When the measured voltage value is lower than 10.5V and lasts for 10 seconds, the meter will enter the under voltage protection state and the output status displays LVP. When the measured current value is higher than 10.5V and lasts for 5 seconds, the meter automatically cancels the protection state. The circuit is closed and it starts to work. We set the delay time to 2 seconds. Discharge over current protection click OCP to set the discharge over current protection value to 2, A. When the measured current value exceeds 2, A for 2 seconds. The meter will enter the discharge over current protection state and the output status is displayed OCP. When the current to be measured is lower than 2 and lasts for 5 seconds, the meter automatically cancels the protection state. The circuit is closed, and it starts to work. Once the measured current returns to 2 and lasts for 2 seconds, the meter will enter the discharge over current protection state again. We set the protection recovery time to 0 seconds to cancel the automatic recovery function. We need to click the OCP button in the main interface to cancel the protection state. But you can see that the measured current value exceeds 2 and the protection state cannot be cancelled. When the measured current value is less than 2, A, we click the OCP button again. The meter can cancel the protection state normally, and the circuit is closed. Start working. Over temperature protection, click OTP to set the over temperature protection value to 20 degrees. When the ambient temperature exceeds 20 degrees, the meter will enter the over temperature protection state, and the output status will display OTP. Setting the over temperature protection value to 0 degrees Celsius means that the meter does not activate the over temperature protection function. We return to the main interface. Click on the output control switch to turn on the output. Up over power protection setting steps are the same as over voltage protection. Under voltage protection and over current protection. Charge over current protection click NCP to set the charge over current protection value to 2, A. When the measured current value exceeds 2, A for 2 seconds. The meter will enter the charge over current protection state. And the output status NCP will be displayed. Set the delay time to 0 seconds.
which means immediate protection. When the current to be measured is lower than 2, A, we return to the main interface. Click the output control switch, turn on the output, and the meter works normally. Communication address click the set address button. The enter set address pop-up box will pop out. Enter the corresponding value and click OK to complete the modification of the communication address. Relay mode click the relay mode button. The relay mode normally open normally closed option pop-up box will pop out. Select the relay type that corresponds to the actual one. Firmware upgrade when the measurement module is not powered. We unplug the temperature sensor. Short circuit the external temperature measurement interface with a wire or conductive metal. And then supply power to the measurement module. Turn on our mobile phone. Search for Bluetooth. Connect to the meter. Click the Firmware Upgrade button in the System Settings interface. The Input Firmware Code pop-up box will pop up. Enter 000. Click OK to start the firmware upgrade. Now the indicator flashes quickly. Please wait patiently during the upgrade process and do not perform other operations. After the upgrade is successful, Upgrade Successful will be displayed at the bottom of the screen. Let's restart the measurement module and the mobile app again. And the firmware upgrade is complete. Finally, I will show you the actual application scenarios. Thank you for watching.